And then the main event was uh, John Moxley and Jericho. And uh, Jericho came out, full Lionheart gear, a uh, Lionheart style uh, entrance video music, and the same ponytail from uh, the mid 90s. And of course, John Moxley was John Moxley. And uh, these two guys are perfect opponents for each other because they just went in there and, you know, they're, they're great wrestlers, but they're also great brawlers. And they pounded on each other, and Jericho pulled the earring out of his head, so Moxley had another excuse to bleed everywhere. And he, was then, bleeding from the, he was bleeding from the ear like crazy. Yeah. I think he might have actually gigged his ear I, I because... Uh, all I know is there was, there was a lot of there blood. There was a lot of blood. But Jericho, I mean, they, they, they did the deal where you pulled the earring out, but then he, when he held up the earring, the earring was open. So it was yes. like the earring had been open and just kind of, so not like yanked, and it didn't like tear his ear off. Yeah. So I presume Moxley gigged his ear. But then I think later, I think he went into the exposed buckle. Jericho. For real. And, oh no uh, no that was that was that was for real. Yes, Jericho got busted open hard, and he way. was bleeding so, so bad. Yeah, so that was one of the inadvertent uh, spots in this match where someone okay, ended up okay. bleeding. I, I I thought it was a nose, but it was not the nose. It no, the, the announcer forehead. said it was the nose, but it was his head going into that buckle. Yeah yeah, it was the forehead got split open. Yeah, what well, he didn't you know they, they yeah they talked about him rebreaking his nose, but his nose his nose is fine, and his forehead is not fine. So he's bleeding all over, and Moxley's bleeding all over, and uh, Moxley kicks out of the Judas effect. They actually did the uh, the walls of Jericho. For like four minutes? Yeah, Jericho was in the walls. They go to commercial. They say, make sure you watch Picture so, in Picture. He was, stayed there the entire Picture in Picture commercial break. So uh, they went, in, they went in, into that move, and... Then they go to a commercial and I go, you're going to a commercial in the middle of a submission? Like, I was mad because it's like, it's like, you don't go to a commercial. You know, I mean, even if it's picture in picture or whatever, you don't do that. Like, you can do it after a dive and everyone's laid out, right? That's fine. But the middle of like, you don't do it at, in the middle of a near fall and you don't do it in a submission. So they did it in a submission and I'm watching. He's holding it. He's holding it. He's holding it. And it's like for four minutes, I go, well. Um, it was so long. I'm going like, you know, I think the crowds might be going crazy, but we have no idea because we can't hear the sound. I guess if the people in the UK, you know, they know, but I'm thinking the crowd might be going crazy this long. They come back and the crowd's just going crazy, you know, so it, it worked, but I mean, I mean, it worked, it, it worked in the building, but they didn't see a freaking commercial. So I just like, um, you know, but. I, I just, I hated that, that going, you know, like just... You <laughs> well, hey, you missed it. nothing. He was in the hold at the beginning, and he was in the hold when he came back. Yeah, and but Moxley there was like, finally got the ropes there at the very end. Yeah, but there was like 10 times the heat coming back as there was when the heat went left. Well, so yeah, he, but you have to have a commercial break, so they got to go somewhere. Yeah, but... We didn't, we didn't miss uh, a bunch of spots because there was just one spot during the whole commercial. I didn't have a problem with it. Uh -oh. And plus, the end of the match, I mean... They they kept the heat to the very end because Moxley starts... First, he puts him in the uh, rear naked. Then he switches to the bulldog choke. And the place is just going crazy. And Jericho's bleeding everywhere. And then Jericho managed to put him in the lion tamer. And at this point, Jericho's like a full-on baby face. They're just cheering this guy like crazy. Well, they were from the beginning. At the very beginning, it's like, let's go Moxley, lion heart. Let's go Moxley, lion heart. That was like the chant in like the opening minutes. So, but yeah, Jericho was not booed at no. all in this match. And then Moxley finally puts him in the rear naked choke on the mat again, and Jericho's fighting, and the place is going crazy. But finally, he taps out all covered in blood, and uh, it was great. And then afterwards, yeah, you know, they they showed like crowd shots, and people were going nuts that he because I don't think people like like I don't think they expected a tap out. I don't think they expected Jericho to win. But I don't think they expected a tap out either. And so it was kind of like that. It was actually like a great finish. Plus, it, it's like puts the guy over. And it's funny because they almost fores foreshadowed it because Jim Ross at the very beginning, you know, was telling the story that, you know, these guys want, you know, like it's one thing to pin a guy, but to make the other guy submit in a match of this level is like, that's what you really want. So it was like, you know, the ideas were putting Moxley over 
big because he's in the pay-per-view main event. And well, they Jer- did a good job with a couple of spots, too, because like they had Sammy interfere, and then he threw the bat to Jericho, and Jericho used the bat, and people thought that was a great near fall. And then Jericho with the Judas effect, which no one's ever kicked out of, and people bought that one, and then Moxie kicked out of that. So they did a good job trying to convince the crowd that Jericho actually might win this interim championship match, but uh, but he did not. But this match, I mean, it was great. This was an awesome main event. Oh, yeah. And then afterwards, Sammy, Jake Hager, they attack Moxley. Blackpool Combat Club, Club comes out. 2.0 and Daniel Garcia with no, come with out. No, no Danielson, though. Yep, there's this big brawl, and then, of course, Cult of Personality hits, and CM Punk runs down to the ring. He beats up both of 2.0, Sammy Guevara, Jake Hager, and Jericho. The the heels all bail, and then he's standing there in the ring, and Moxie turns around, and they get in each other's face. Moxie just looks at him, he flips him off, and uh, bumps him with his shoulders. he leaves. He actually got booed. As he uh, as he did that, and then uh, Punk cheered or uh, soaked in the cheers as the show went off the air, and uh, looks like that is uh, clearly well, it is the the main, uh, event. the main event. CM Punk it's and John event, Moxley. And it will be uh, very interesting. You know that um, John Moxley as a John Moxley does not like being called interim champion. He wants to be, or he you know he he was. He wanted that to be the the belt, you know, and um, obviously it was interim because Tony Khan, as original, wanted, you know, Punk not to lose the championship. So he created this interim championship. So it's um, obviously the, well, the interim belt goes away on, you know, in that match. So, um, yeah, so it's... Uh, I felt watching it that that is going to be a very big main event. Like it's not. I you don't, don't say those people were going nuts for that stare down. Yeah, I don't see it doing the business that last year's show did, but I do see this being a pretty big number. You know, by AEW standards. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got twelve thousand episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.